Hey y'all, this is the collector on the corner and, and who the heck are you? What are we looking at? I want you to stand right over there. Oh, you want me to stand right over there? Yeah, we'll do a better video. Oh, and and who are you, sir? Is that being so bossy? This is the scalp Randy. Yesterday it got sweltering hot out here above 80, so this morning, before I got all dirty and grubby, yeah, Debbie trimmed all my whiskers and everything off for me. Yeah, but you wouldn't let but me use my sharpened I didn't let her tomahawk. Go like she wanted to. She yes. wanted to use this. Yes, I did. I had it hid where she didn't know where it's at. Yes. She said she's gonna catch me sleeping and just you know burn your breath. Give me a singe job. Uh huh. Anyway, I could have used my tomahawk and sharpened it. I have messed up. <laughs> I know you have messed up. You told me. This here is a piece of that galvanized stuff that you stick through electric uh, chain link fence. Uh-huh. And I sharpened the end of it, and I drove it through the center of that <laughs> water tube in there. <laughs> and I collapsed that tube with a pair of vice grips and uh -huh. put a slide hammer on it and it didn't move. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So I thought, well, I'll drive it alongside that tube and collapse that tube. Uh -huh. And I tapped it in there with a claw hammer, no problem. Uh huh. And it got stuck. <laughs> it got stuck. <laughs> so I'm just going to take it out with a slide hammer. Okay, I want to watch this. And that's, this one wouldn't do nothing. <laughs> so yes. I got my bigger slide bigger. hammer. Bigger, okay, let's and watch. And three baskets on there. Okay. And that ain't doing nothing. Hey, it ain't moving. It ain't moving. <laughs> I wore myself out yesterday trying to get that out. Okay. So today I got to do something different. Uh, I suggest... And it's going to take... Yeah, someone smarter than you. A little bit you. of time. <laughs> it's going to take a little bit of time to set this up like I want it. Okay. To try and pull it out. And I ain't oh. sure it'll work. Well, I suggest but, you cut you know, it off and pretending like you didn't do it. <laughs> uh, my plan A. Yeah, plan A, plan was B. Was use that plan little C, slide hammer. Plan C, plan, plan B. Plan B. Yeah. Was you use a bigger slide hammer and it just slid. <laughs> so I put three pairs of vice grips on there and it quit sliding, but it ain't moving. And I got plan C. Yeah, you're gonna tie it to the back of your truck and take off real fast. No, I thought about doing that though. <laughs> Give it a good jerk. You'd probably just take the motor out. <laughs> I think I got the hard way. I think I got something in mind that'll work. Yes. So I'm gonna have Debbie put you on hold. Yes. And after I get it set up, we can see whether it's a success or a failure. Okay. So, Debbie, just put them on hold. Okay, y'all, we're putting you on hold for a couple of minutes while this goober head figures out what he's going to ungoober. Hold on, y'all. Okay, we're back. Okay, what have I done here? What have you done, Collector? I've post in the ground. Yes, you I've have. I've had a bunch of blocks up between there and the engine. Yes, you have. I've got my come along. Attached. Just in the back of my truck top. Attached his truck. Okay. And what I got right here, this apparatus right here is called a track jack. A track jack. It's for bulldozers. Bulldozers. And what you do, it's going to ratchet on it. Yeah. What you do well, come on. is you put that Quit on the bulldozers and, and you tighten the tracks up. Quit talking but and get But it's a big ratchet. We'll see. You may just have to cut the block in two and pull that out and then weld the block back together. Well, I'm looking. I don't see nothing moving. I'm putting pressure on it. You know what I need to do? What do you need to do? I grease it? Some more pair of oh, I thought maybe you need to grease it. Well, I should have greased this rod before I drove it in there. Well... I should have been out here with you when you were doing it. I could have offered suggestions. Yep. Like, don't do it. <laughs> it was hot. I'm doing that. Oh, you put sweat on it. Is it moving? No. You sure? Yes. Because I'm looking at that scratch mark on it. The scratch mark is going no place. 
When your truck comes up and hits you in the butt, I'll tell you it's moving. Oh, I seen a, a, a vice grip move just then. I know he's moving. Oh, it raised up a little bit. Sounds like I hear all kinds of creaking. I'm backing up. Oh no, he's gonna tap it. He lives dangerously. Yeah, you stay in front of me, so if anything hits, it'll have to come. It'll have to come through you. <laughs> and, it, and it probably will do come now, through. Now Demi was doing it, she'd fill it up with tannerite. Yes, I would. I'd just blow that puppy out of there. Of course the motor'd probably be toast. Yeah, I hear some creaking way back here. Well, what I'm doing. Oh, I'm getting a Jesus. Block right here. I mean, jumping Jehoshaphat and a couple of them other people. Yeah, I'm catching on that block. Oh, dad gummit. You, nut? Yes, I see the nut. I got, I got back it off. I see the nut. <laughs> Yep, you gotta back it off, Dad Gummit. I wasn't watching your blocks. Oh boy, the motor's gonna go back down and gonna be happy. Mm -hmm. Probably like mad at you for an impaling it with a piece of metal. I'd be mad at you. Now, if you'd have greased that, that would have slid on over the top. No? Well, yeah, no? I should have greased that. No, I'm talking about that thing, that block. You should have greased it. And it slid on over the top. Mister, I think you have got problems. Now. There you go. Oh, it'll work. work now. now you got to regain all you lost. That big nut was catching on there. Yeah, I block. see. I see the big nut. You, you got to hold still, nut. Okay. Okay, it's back to cranking. Crank, 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 crank. Cheapers, yep. I'm catching on that. Yeah, Looks like an accident waiting to happen. Yeah. I hear noises again. How much damage is, does three vice grips do when they come off and bonk you? Sure that ain't moving. Honey, I don't think it is. What? I don't think it is. I'm looking at them scratch marks, and them scratch marks ain't going no place. Oh, hey, it moved. It did then, yay! Oh, yay! Oh, yay, it's coming! The motor will never be the same. I hear it. I hear it. It's going. <laughs> it's coming, boy. You're a lucky dude. I don't know how many tons of force this track jack's putting on it, but yeah. it's a lot. Okay, now how far is that inside the motor? All the way to the back. Oh, jeepers, creepers, we got it. Three oh, feet. Oh, it's come out pretty fast then. Super 
Superman, grab it and jerk it. Yeah. Well, I might, when I get to the end of the track, oh, there, put Look at it go! It was stuck now. Come on, I, I know it was stuck. You come over and cried on my shoulder for a while. <laughs> oh, look at it go. I'm not going to be. It's not without any pressure. I'm not, I'm not going to be clanged in the head by vice grips or, or a track jack. Well, I, was, I had my plan A and plan B yesterday, and while I was laying in bed last night, I come up with this plan C that, <laughs> that actually worked. I said, I got them. But you didn't want to go with Plan T, Tannerite, right? I got Plan D. What was Plan D? I've got two more of these track jacks. <laughs> <laughs> Put some more chains and some more track jacks on. Put a second one on and get Debbie to crank it on while, while I'm cranking on another. All righty. All righty. Come on, you're going. Pull, pull, pull. Crank, crank, crank. I see it's moving. I, I didn't have faith in you. I'm sorry. I was beginning to wonder. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm going to loosen it up and try my slide hammer. Oh. That slide hammer puts a lot of force on that. Yes, it does. I, I actually don't know. I've never used a slide hammer. But I'll have to use one now just to see. Yeah, I was at auction. There was two of these track jacks, sir. Uh huh. And I wanted one. Uh huh. The guy I used to work for had one. Uh huh. And I used it, and I wanted one of them. Uh huh. And they come up and they're selling choice on them. Uh huh. And some other old guy had bid me up on them. Mm hmm And I'd give $100 for choice. Jeepers! So you took them both? I took them both. Yeah, you taught that old fart. And since you? that time I was at auction, I bought one for $15. <laughs> so, I've got $215 in, in three, three of them. three <laughs> But I can give each one of my boys one. Really? Yeah. Each one of your boys one? Yeah. Aww. I'll keep one of them. Aww. But if you ever try to put a track back on a bulldozer. Like they're going to put a track on a bulldozer. Oh, yeah, I might. Oh, Somebody bull. might call me tomorrow and says, i got to put a new set of rails on my bulldozer. Would you come help me? And I'll say, yeah. Really? You would say, yeah? But you won't do a honeydew job for me. Well, they're, they're going to pay me big money to come do it, though. I make you... <laughs> Karma, uh, karma me. bitch you back. <laughs> <laughs> karma bitch you that gummy. Be like that boy at sawmill. We got a sawmill one day, and this guy had this old sawmill. <laughs> and him and his brother. And they had a big old flat belt there running from the power unit to the main mandrel. And it had a split in it. And he was a saw on the way, and directly, that split started getting bigger. So he left us, he was standing there with that pole on the saw. And, <laughs> and he left, and he went over there, gonna shut that power unit off. Uh -huh. And before he got over there, that about six foot wrapped off, <laughs> and the old power unit was revved up, and it come around and it slapped him all up down the side. You know, he didn't have, had an old t-shirt on, all sweaty, knocked his head off, got the side of his face and his shoulder and his belly and that, that old bare belly out there. And it's all red and all that. About knocked him down. He got away from it, went around there, shut that power unit off. I said, I bet that hurt. No, no, it didn't hurt a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, liar. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, watching he's gonna Oh he's doing it! Look at it! Well, Yay! Time, Yay! Now see folks what I did? I sharpened that. Hold still so I can see the sharp. Oh boy. Boy, you made a spear for the kids. Well, 
I sharpened that, but my plan was... Yes, I know what your plan was. I first was. drove that in the hollow point of this. This was spread out. Uh-huh. I, I drove it through the end, to the end. Yeah. And I got it back out easy enough. Uh-huh. So then I drove it between here and here. I'm going to collapse that in. Uh-huh. And what I did the first time, I put them bias grips on there and put a chain on there and that little slide hammer, and I wasn't gaining nothing. Uh-huh. So... I put that big slide hammer on her. I still wasn't gaining nothing. Why did you just leave the whole the pipe in there? Because it's rotted out and it needs replaced. It'll run hot. It won't work. Oh. You'll never get no good service out. Have you ever thought about taking the head off and then? Well, maybe... you can't get it with cylinder head off. Oh, you can't get uh, at it. With... No. So you no, got to no. cut it in two, like I well, said. Well, it's, a, it's the... a metal tube. Is all it is. But I'm just saying. You She's got... got a little movement there. Yeah, now, got a little movement. That now. didn't have before. I might. Might have put that track jack on there. Uh huh. On them bias grips. Yeah. And see if I can't get loose. All right. But anyway, I got it. <laughs> he got I, it out. I got my mess up out. Yes. Everybody has one of those days, and it is a Monday, so what do well, you expect? These deals like this ain't too bad when you're just doing your own stuff. Uh-huh. But when you're working for somebody or it's a customer stuff, uh-huh. It's not too good. <laughs> Look at that. But see I had a mark on it. Uh-huh. That's, and that's how what, that far left it, it was in. No, if I drove it back to that mark, uh -huh. it left a half inch between there and the back of the block. Uh -huh. And that's how far I had drove that in there. And see where I pulled on them by scripts? Yep, I see. Okay, we did a video the other day. Yeah. What was it and about? And we mentioned that somebody hung some parts on the fence. Uh-huh. And what it is, is... Was a neighbor. One of our kindred spirits. Uh-huh. My cousin. We related to both of us. Yeah. And His cousin. Or two. His cousin, my cousin. And he hung them on the fence. Like I said, we married each other. We we're cousins. He'd been somewhere. Yeah. And he got this saw. Uh-huh. And it need work on the start rope and the work on the carburetor and this and that was making sparks. Uh-huh. Anyway, and who sold me this old lumbar? Yes. This is new saw to my collection. Oh. <laughs> kill switch. I didn't kill it. No, it was a choke. Oh, well, I was trying to kill it. eardrums out. Well, That's what saved that saw. <laughs> what saved that saw? It's yes. got a leak. See, it's wet. Yes. It's got a leak somewhere around well, the bottom of Don't put no gas more gas tank. in it. Do you know how much gas costs? Well, the fuel tank leaked. Yes. So whatever old fuel they left in there leaked on out. And yes. Didn't mess it up. That is so good. So all I had to do was put a gas line and a filter on it, fix the start rope, and then it had the wrong bar on it. Uh -huh. Yeah, a home light bar. And a home light's got three eight studs and these here People he don't even have to go anywhere and chainsaws show up. These here This is not right. These lumbar's got quarter inch studs. And you put that other bar on there, it's always loose. But I found a, a lumbar bar. Uh-huh. And then 
the shields on each side of the deal, and it was dirty. Yes, dirty. I, dirty. I spent he was dirty. as much time very, cleaning very dirty. on it. And she told me yesterday, ain't you got better things to do? Uh -huh. That's but it right. It got too hot. Ain't you and got... I had stuck that in there and couldn't get it out. Uh, okay. Anyway, so that's the video today, and there's the newest chainsaw to the collection. I, I've lost count of how, how many. How attached are I've you? I've lost to... count of how many saws. How attached I got. are you to that chainsaw? What? How attached are you to that chainsaw? Well, I like it pretty good. You're... <laughs> It, it, it's loud enough to be fast becoming one of my favorite saws. <laughs> you want me as deaf as you, don't you? No. What well, my plan is. Yeah, what's your plan? We I want to hear. Some property we own right next to and right across from a church. Uh huh. And I think I'll go up there Sunday when they're having to preach it and start cutting firewood. You are the on. And you <laughs> might call, get beat up. You call me. Well, no, what I thought I'd do is do that. And when all them people come pouring out of church and jump on me, you can video it. That'd be a video that might go viral, you know. You're, is that a good idea? No. Is it, what do you think them people would come out of that church and? Probably with pitchforks and 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 knives and and uh, torches and probably run you down. But I do cut firewood up there. Yes, I know you do cut firewood. I've been going. It's twenty-five mile from here. Uh, okay. Well, anyway, yeah. uh, uh, please uh, just. Forget what you heard him say because he's... Well, just tell me whether you think that's a good idea. <laughs> I think if you want to be uh, beat up, yeah, that go for it. And no, I am not going to go up there and film nah. it because they'll see me and, they, ago, people... and they might come out and beat me up. Years ago, people would come out and beat you up. Uh-huh. Nowadays, they don't. Yeah, people that... just come out and shoot you. <laughs> They go out the car, get their gun, blow! I thought maybe they'd sue you. Maybe shoot my chainsaw? I would. <laughs> hey, that's an ideal. <laughs> I don't know if I've what, uh, Can I, I ask you a question? Resource. What would Tannerite in the gas tank do? Well, if I don't I, know. If you put it in the gas tank and you shot the gas tank with a rifle... Oh, dang. I don't want to have to shoot. But I don't know. The gas might neutralize the tannerite, and all you just do is have a bullet hole through a good saw. That's a good saw. Not to me. It blows my eardrums like out. It even made me holler. The reason I like them Lombards so much. It's because you can hear them running. Well, they're loud. That, that's, 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 that's a plus. But the main reason I like No, them, loud is not a plus. To you, it might be a plus. To me, it's a hindrance. They're like, they don't weigh no more than a suit than an XL12 home light. You and know. Like an XL12 home light. Uh huh. You pour the oil in down here. Yeah. A Super XL home light, you yeah. pour the oil in up here. Uh -huh. But that Super XL, you're getting that bar and chain oil all over the saw. Yeah. Down here, you can lean that back and pour that, and you don't get so much mess around. But I thought saw. it was good to get oil all over your but, saw. It keeps it well, keeps it oiled. If, uh, am XL I exasperating you? Then I'm doing it's my a job. Good little saw, <laughs> but it's only got 54 cc. Uh, I don't know what that means, but well, 54 is not a bad age. Yeah, I don't, but it's only got 54 cc. Mm -hmm. Uh. Is that 54 a super pieces of chocolate? Automatic or 54 cupcakes? That replaced that is a 58 cc saw. Ooh, but it's that's got that even oil more. Up here. Uh -huh. And they're all automatic oilers. Okay. This old lumbar is a manual oiler, and it's well, 68 uh, cc. Is this a, 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 a lesson in chainsaws? Because no, I'm just going to talk about it a minute. Okay. This is 68 cc. Uh -huh. This thing's got enough power to pull a 30, 28, 30, 32 inch bar if you wanted it to. But it don't look like it's got a 38 and or 32 or the way it's 50 made, inch bar. It'll almost that do only as looks much a couple feet. Is that 82cc uh -huh. 9 
25. Will you quit talking technical? Talk well, layman's terms like that 925 the big the little in is 82 cc. Lot. Yeah. And it'll outsaw this. But the thing about it is, if you use it very long on a hot day, it'll boil the fuel and vapor lock, and you won't get it started again. Well, that's you good. You can run this sucker all day long on a hot day, and it won't vapor lock. It'll start on the first yank. Well, you know and what? It, it don't weigh The only thing much, good so about heavy. that is you can't do that all day anymore. <laughs> you, have to, you have to take your tea breaks and your naps. and. So right now, probably... You'd sell it for? I've got about the parts of probably 10 of these lumbar Comango saws. And them 10, four of them run. And the rest of them just more or less part saws mm -mm. that, you know, you don't you'd need have them. to buy, spend you, a lot you don't of money need on. It. You don't need them. But anyway, I ain't got a whole lot of money in none of them. But this one here, I bought it for $15. Okay, that is. So, you know. Okay. It all comes out the wash. Okay, well, I'm leaving now. But Thanks. anyway, Debbie didn't get scorched, man. I think I'm going to I know, go I ahead. think that's what I'm sad about. I didn't get to. I think I'll go ahead. And You're going to poke it. that in again? Yeah, I'm going to grease it. Are, are you a sucker in. for punishment? Gonna, I, I had it drove in on the, this side. Yes, I know. I'm going to drive it in on the other oh, side. Oh, you... Well, i got to get that tube out of there. I know. you got to get <laughs> the tube out. And I didn't want to power wash it off till I got that tube out. Okay. Because when I power wash it off... Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and knock the freeze plugs out and wash all the rust out of that block. Yes. But if I can't get that tube out, I'm going to pull this engine out, uh -huh. stand it on its back, and I'm going to fill that block up with vinegar. Vinegar. But you know, we're talking about dirt daubers may have got in Yeah, there. I see. I see them on the side. I seen them on the side. real close to that water. Yes, I see it. it there's, it water. there's bound to be some inside. You know yeah, there I is. Yeah, imagine they flew in that hole. Because, I mean, that's a... And the oil would loosen it up and it'd get in there. That's a perfectly good it'd hole. It'd get in there and circulate that grit through the oil pump and it would grind your crankshaft while it's running. <laughs> Isn't that a good thing? Don't you want to shine <laughs> it up? <laughs> I don't think so. I thought you wanted you to shine. You could grind that crank and then take your leather belt and put it in there for bearings, I guess. Yes. See, there you go. You could do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess got anything that's else to say, Mr. Redneck? Yeah. Goodbye and good luck to you in Plan C work. Yay! <laughs> and I got a free haircut from Debbie. No, you never paid for it. All the same. <laughs> uh, anyway, y'all have a great day, and I'm glad we got to see uh, a boo boo no, turn into a we success. We ain't quite done. Oh man! You hand that to me. You got I can your... get it going. See what that girl looks like this morning? Don't the meanness just stand out on her? <laughs> She, they used to tell her if she stuck that lip out any further, she'd trip on it. Now I'll give it back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you're a stinkwad. Well, anyway, y'all have, yeah. have a great day, and please like and subscribe and comment below and share with your friends and neighbors and, and people you like and don't like. And, and uh... Thank you for watching, and have the greatest Monday ever, because Randy is, because he got his doohickey unstuck from his yeah. motor, and uh, y'all have a great day. Bye!